Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Taurus. How are you guys, Taurus? Hope you're well. See what's happening with you. Taurus, new love prospects or connections for single Taurus who's interested in you or vice versa and what you need to know. Taurus, let's see, there we go. So seven of pentacles. So this is about trusting in your direction, investing in something and waiting for it to pay off. It's also about timing. Uh, for me anyway, I see this as an energy of uh, waiting for the right time to do something and being patient, okay? Yeah, so hoping that patience pays off. <laughs> yeah, there we go, six of wands. It's about planning for success. So I can see ener an energy here of someone being very proud of their achievements. Okay, so it's about being proud, to be patient, to invest in something. Beautiful energy. Six of Wands. So I do see something being successful. <laughs> Very nice. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, or just a person. This could even be yourself. This is a person who's trusting in their ability to make a decision by being patient, by investing. Okay, it's a person who uh, gets a, an idea in their head. They kind of like to think about it. Yeah, it's about whether it'll be successful in Austin. Should this, you know, I feel like it's about timing. Uh, this person could be planning something and just being patient. So, yeah, I, I think there's something here going to be successful. And I do think someone is strategizing. Okay, this person truly believes in their ability to make a, a strategic decision. Okay, so they're very wise, possibly educated. This person's likely invested in a lot of education. So they can, you know, it's, I feel like this could be a person who is just really good at sorting out the details uh, to, as they plan, okay? But I feel like it has to do with timing. Um, someone may have been playing the field, uh, dated a lot of people, hasn't really had anything successful. So they could be thinking about that. Uh-huh. And then we have the hanged man. So seems to be the card of the week. So the hangman is a person who kind of stops and takes a pause and they go within looking for clarity, okay, about investing, about trusting in the direction that they're going, whether it'll be successful. So they are, it's an energy of strategic planning. So it's a person taking a pause, looking at things from a different perspective. This is someone who sees things in a couple different ways. They look at things in a couple of different ways. So I do see the ace of wands. Uh, I do see the four of swords. Do see the Knight of Cups? Oh yeah, and the Sun, and the Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, look at all those cards that wanted to come out here. So I do feel like this is a person who, I feel like it's someone who's changing their strategy. I got to be honest, they're looking at things differently because I feel this is a person who has invested possibly some time, some energy, a lot of passion uh, into something, but they haven't had success. So I feel they're looking at things different. They're about to change uh, the way they strategize, the way they see something. And it has to do with the one, okay? So I do see an energy of clearing out their head. It's a person who has a tendency to kind of overthink, and they're looking at that. I feel this person's very aware. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I do see the Knight of Cups. So it is a person here. I do feel it's a person who's, I see dating, courting, wanting to start something new. So this is an opportunity. This person may see you as an opportunity, Taurus, you know, taking this opportunity uh, that they feel is there to start something. But it's about clarity, uh, everything being out in the open. So this person is definitely optimistic, exploring their feelings and their emotions through dating. So this is, a, they're going to offer you this cup, an opportunity. Now, this is a person who's definitely seeing things different, things that haven't been successful for them in the past. So they're looking at it different, okay? They're going to do, I feel it's just a different perspective at how they possibly communicate the way they see things. I like it because I feel this person's becoming very clear. I like it very much. Yeah, so I do see a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a little Leo, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy in this reading. So Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this is a person here. Uh, you can see that energy. Uh, clearing out things here, clearing things out, getting out of their head. This is definitely someone who has romantic thoughts. 
Uh, but I do feel what needs to be clearing out is they need to stop overthinking and overanalyzing. Uh, this is person when they start to feel there's something they don't know about or, you know, that fear of think of not having success, they overanalyze. And that's what I feel they're going to let go of. So, yeah, so it's an energy of change. So I can see this person going through some kind of change. It's an energy of feeling on top of the world. So it's releasing negative thoughts, releasing fears that something won't be successful. Because I feel it's a person who really just overanalyzes to the point where they're not having success. Okay, their strategy isn't working. <laughs> so it's a new way of thinking is what I feel. So they are going through some kind of change, but it's positive because they're feeling on top of the world. Now they're strategizing a whole new way of, of looking at this. They see things from a different perspective. So, it, you know, in some ways, this person has this gift, this ability to you know, take a pause and kind of go within and see what isn't working, what will bring success and won't. If it doesn't, they're going to go through the change. And that's what I feel is happening wow yeah see financial stability safety security partnering up with someone finding a partner they want success this is definitely a person who has probably been chased a lot because they're financially successful so they have a tendency to overthink but i do think this person is going through change okay just letting things flow um, you know, not getting in their head, not over analyzing the situation. And trust me, this is not easy. But I do see that energy of the moon, romantic thoughts, fantasizing, <laughs> investing, should they or shouldn't they is what I feel that, you know, whatever isn't working, they're going to change their mind. Okay, they're changing the way they see it, the way they're going to strategize. King of Swords. Yeah, see, there they are, becoming clear. This is someone who wants to start something new, okay? They could have some Leo in their chart, but I feel as though they're just becoming clear. Something that isn't working, they're not having success, not finding a partner. It's likely someone who's dated a lot, played the field, and they haven't had that success, okay? They haven't found someone they can count on or rely on, but it also has to do with themselves, Oh, yeah. Overthinking. Over, it's over strategizing, over analyzing. So I do see something new. Beautiful. I see the hanged man. This person's definitely, you know, taking a little pause here, kind of going within. This is within themselves. You see, you're seeing things different. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This is someone who's seeing marriage, commitment, partnering up different. This is likely someone who had a relationship in the past that wasn't successful. So now they have a tendency to overanalyze. But I like the clarity with the sun shining. This is feeling on top of the world. This person is definitely releasing negative energy, uh, feeling a lot happier. Ooh. This person's very smart. You know, they could be uh, reading self-help books, things like that, or just, you know, uh, coming up with a lot of ideas. But I see the positive energy, that higher vibrational energy. This person's definitely gaining clarity. And I do see them looking at marriage commitment, their financial foundation, uh, differently. Okay. Now, this could be a person checking you out. They may not know if you're single or in a relationship. So I do feel there's something they're kind of strategizing there. And it has to do with the one. This is a person who's very passionate. Okay, definitely a lot of passion. Uh, but I do feel the energy of clearing things out, clearing things up. There, this is someone who's getting ready for something new. I feel they're just releasing negative stuff. And I definitely see this person feeling better, thinking better thoughts, uh, much happier. Uh, seeing marriage and commitment uh, differently. <laughs> Ace of Wands, yeah, see, it's how they conduct themselves, their thoughts, you see. It's a habit. This person has a habit of overanalyzing, and it's how they conduct themselves. But I do feel this person's checking you out, seeing how you conduct yourself. They're looking to see if that higher vibrational energy, that happiness. I like this person's energy because I feel this person's recognizing within themselves. It's time to look at things different, see things from a different perspective. And I feel that's exactly what they're doing. Very wise. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Yeah, see, this person's clearing. They're releasing negative thoughts and energy. It's a healing energy. It's an energy of just letting go, letting it go, uh, because they're getting ready for something new. And this is how they're now conducting themselves, you see. It's about being on the same page. 
their habits, traditions, the way they live their life. They're definitely looking for a partner and I don't think they've had a lot of success, but it does have to do with their overanalyzing. Yeah, they see it clearly, but they are ready for something new. Mm -hmm. Knight of Cups. Dating, courting. This is someone exploring their feelings and emotions. You see, expressing themselves, but be very clear about how they conduct themselves. So, uh, love this. This person's definitely feeling optimistic. So, uh, I see them coming in, talking, uh, communicating in a very optimistic way. So, it's like this fresh new sp start. Okay, welcoming a new love and trust in what it brings. So, yeah, they may be seeing you as that queen of pentacles, very drawn to you, you know, very attracted to you, maybe finding you physically attractive. This person's likely someone who uh, likely uh, looks at that or focuses on that physical attraction, but they're changing how they conduct themselves, you see. You know, this is an energy of a habit, a tradition, the way they conduct themselves. And that's what I feel. They're looking at things differently. Marriage, commitment, being on the same page. This is someone who hasn't found anyone who's on the same page. Yeah. And I do feel it's an energy. of It's something within themselves. All right. Seeing things different. So they're going to let go here. Oh, yeah. I see a judgment and a decision. <laughs> This is like I say, they're definitely coming towards you. They're just sort of strategizing. Very positive, uh, happy energy. Something new. Knight of Cups. There we go. Yeah. So let's see. This is a person who, you see that energy? They're releasing negative thoughts and energy. That cup half empty. See, they're now a cup half full. Look at that. See, their cup is full. Why? Because they're focusing on the positive things. So when you meet this person, you're going to notice they focus on the positive. Now, they definitely are someone who wants to have success. They're planning for this to be a successful uh, connection. So they're going to show you they're reliable. They're also going to show you they're financially successful. Okay. Uh, it could be something this person's kind of kept to themselves with past relationships but I see them moving away from that it's an energy of feeling on top of the world it's time to move on wow yeah no more negative thinking no more cup half full no more focusing on the cups that are uh, the past or you know um, you know just negative it, it's just an it's just an energy it, it, it's not something that always lasts a long time for some people it can but I think they're just releasing it. They're just letting it go. I don't know what, it could be self-help books, something they're learning. You know, they may be very focused on something they're very passionate about. I do feel this person's educated or educating themselves because the Hierophant is a school of hard knocks. It's conditioning. So this person, it could be just been a habit where they really have a habit of being negative and it's, it's energy, it, it pins them down, these thoughts from moving, from moving on, for investing in something new, you see. Um, very wise person. It looks like they're they're learning, they're educating themselves on something here. Tell me about the sun. Could be just their thoughts. Whoops, there we go. Yeah, so see, this is somebody who definitely is, there's that energy of focusing on the wand as a habit, a tradition, a behavior. It's a, a conditioning over time. Uh, history, okay, this person has a history of focusing on um, physical connection, the wand, the things they're passionate about. Uh, but I do feel, look at that energy. I, I feel as though this person, you know, it is kind of in a way it's negative because what this person's not doing, they're not expressing themselves. It's an energy of shadow work, you know, hiding their true self, wearing a mask. Uh, it's not investing, you see. This is a person I feel who... It's like I say, it's about timing. It's about finding the right time, uh, investing. This person's invested very much in negativity, and I, I feel it is a time to move on. See, there's that sun. Something is being exposed. It's coming out into the open. They are. I feel they are. Now, like I say, I feel they have some Leo energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Libra. It really could be anyone. I feel a lot of this is their energy, but I do see the emotional energy, exploring their feelings and emotion. I know the right person waits until I'm ready. See? Yeah. Negative. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. But see, that cup runneth over. And that's why. Because they have that higher vibration. 
uh, very positive, fun-loving. Um, I love this way, the way this person's going through this energy, okay? And I feel this is a, a decision they're making on their own, okay? Uh, it's a judgment to let go, clearing things out, clearing out the past, just those all those thoughts that pin them down. Wow, see, this is someone who's ready to go down that path, and it has to do with teamwork, cooperation, and compromise. See, it's about compromising. This person's definitely someone who works hard, uh, more than likely with the Six of Wands, you know, a person who's been kind of ruled by their ego. They're very successful. I do think this person keeps that secret, okay? Because I feel they have negative thoughts that people chase them because they're successful. So it's a very negative way to start a relationship. But they're planning for this to be successful. They want this to be because they're offering you this. They see you as marriage material, commitment material. They see you as someone uh, very uh, capable, very grounded, very practical. Uh, they see you as somebody who uh, they could have success with, you see. There's definitely an energy of compatibility. That's why I feel they may have Taurus in their chart. They don't have to. It could really be any energy, but I definitely feel a lot of earth energy underneath this person. But they are definitely an overthinker. Oh my goodness, yes. Ace of Cups. There we go. Yeah, a little Aries energy for some of you. Oh, definitely fire energy, high vibrational, high energy. But it's about going down that path, finding someone compatible. See, this person hasn't had a lot of success finding someone compatible because I feel when they meet someone, they overanalyze it. They always think negative, right? So they have that one foot in the door and out. But I feel this is someone who now knows exactly what they want, what they need to do. I do feel they're very focused. They're definitely not giving up. And they want to, they are, they do want a partner. I can see it. But they want someone you know, compatible, you know. It's an energy of two people coming together to build each other up, to create something. Um, you know, it's about having things in common. So I do feel one thing about this person, when they see someone who they have things in common with, okay, uh, they really like that energy. I feel like it's that common ground, but it also has to do, this person's also very creative. I feel they're very high energy. And it's likely why they have a tendency to do a lot of thinking. Um, yeah, they definitely are very passionate, very creative, possibly very attractive, um, but I do think this person has a bit of an ego. I think they're used to being chased, okay? And if someone doesn't chase them, they start to uh, think in a negative way, okay? <laughs> yeah, kind of poor me. But I don't think they're, this is a, definitely a person who doesn't give up. So I do see this energy of uh, one last look over their shoulder, taking a leap of faith and coming towards you. This person's ready to take a risk. And I feel that's what it is. Is this person someone who's, uh, definitely worked hard for what they have. I do feel they're stable. Uh, but I do feel this is a, someone who wants a partner, okay? Um, it, it's an energy of compatibility, creativity, uh, two people looking out for each other through thick and thin, okay? So I, I like the, the changes they're going. It's a change in their thinking pattern and habit. Uh, so they're, they're, they're definitely working on something here. Wow. Taurus, they see you as that queen of pentacles. Yeah. You're everything this person probably needs and more. Uh, I feel as you're very practical, very sensible. Uh, definitely see you're not too sure about taking a risk with this person. I feel like you're not sure, okay? If you... Uh, see this person is compatible. I do feel there that you may be a little different than them in some ways. I still feel they have earth energy. I do see, this is yourself, Taurus, but they also may have Taurus in their chart. I do see Leo and Libra. A little bit of that water energy. Pisces, by the looks of it. Yeah, Taurus. See what the Queen of Pentacles got happening here. I think you're both ready for something new. Yeah, so you are single. Uh, so I feel this is someone who's looking for clarity, looking to see if you're single or in any kind of relationship. Okay, I can see that passion. It's an energy of growth. This is personal growth for this person. I feel this is someone who's kind of used to focusing on themselves. 
okay, as well. Could be yourself too. Used to focusing on yourself, doing your own thing. You're looking out for yourself. You're enjoying the fruits of your labors. But I, you know, I do see a Virgo energy. So somebody here could have Virgo in their chart. Wow. But yeah, I, I think you got a person about to take a leap of faith. They want to go down this path. They want to, they're willing to cooperate and compromise. Um, beautiful energy. I, I think this is definitely, uh, you both want something new. Yeah, but you are looking out for yourself, enjoying the fruits of your labors. You're planning for the future. See, they like that. Okay, because I feel this is someone who definitely plans for financial success and stability. Okay, they're looking for a partner. I feel like-minded, something the same. Wow. Tell me more about this sun energy, this clarity. Whoops, I just threw those. Tell me about this sun. Why is this here? There we go. Yeah, see, it's the stories this person tells himself in their head. You know, you're going to see this with a lot of people who overanalyze. Uh, they think, 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 trying to gain clarity. It's a story they tell themselves in their head. See, it's a cup half full. There's a fish in the cup. It's a story all in their head. This is why they haven't had success. Because they tell themselves stories in their head. It's ne And it's negative stories in their head. Negative thinking habit. Okay. Could be yourself in this energy. But I think this person is definitely... Um, ready to take a leap of faith. They're leaving something behind. See, it's an energy of pushing through that fear, uh, that moon energy, a little shadow work, pushing through fear, releasing that the fears. I think it's fear, mostly fear of uh, commitment or not having the right person, not being on the same page and it not being successful. Definitely there's financial energy connected to this. Could be to do with the house at home, but their financial uh, stability, their foundation. Yeah, but I think this person's going through that change, change a habit, change a pattern. Ooh, yeah, see, it's an energy of holding back, keeping themselves stuck. It's a habit. They're holding on to things. Could be baggage from a past relationship uh, that wasn't successful. But I feel it's an energy of um, um, stubborn, refusing to budge. Could be yourself. <laughs> Uh, but I feel like it could be them. Just because it's here, it doesn't mean it's you. Uh, I feel it's an energy of someone keeping themselves stuck, keeping themselves single. Okay? Um, and I actually feel there's someone who actually sees you as marriage material. They see you as a keeper. But they are holding back. It could be someone watching you from a distance. Okay? Kind of checking you out, waiting for the right time to approach you. So it has something to do with the timing. Okay? And I feel like it's actually just about right here with the sun shining uh, in two areas here for you and for this person some of you may have a choice between several people you may be getting a lot of attention because you are successful financially that's another scenario so i do feel it's an energy of kind of protecting yourself as well everything that you worked for so it could be this person too in that energy protecting everything they worked for okay and uh, and i feel with the change uh, some of you have been focusing on uh, money, career, finances, and now you're in that energy of enjoying the fruits of your labor. So now you may see this from a person's perspective. Okay, so this is pretty interesting energy. Oh, yeah. I, I think they're going to go for this. I do think they're going to offer you this cup. I actually think you're going to take a risk. Okay, I feel like it's a calculated risk. I don't think you're just going to leap into anything. You're going to make sure everything is exposed, making sure that they're compatible or that they're willing to compromise. There's definitely going to need to be compromise. So there it is. There's that pentacle. So somebody is lifting off that pentacle. See, it's becoming unstuck. The thoughts that are stuck in their head, the negative thinking. There you go. We have the king of pentacles. So very nice. I think you got a person here who is going through the motions, okay? It's learning, learning about themselves. I do feel it's an energy of somebody uh, who's very stable financially, high vibration. See, there's definitely going to be a connection. I see it. But I don't think you've made the connection yet, at least for most of you, okay? Some of you could have somebody coming back around, Okay. Uh, but I would be I would be slightly cautious of somebody who's coming back around, making sure that this person, you know, uh, is stable. You can rely on them. 
that they're not just telling you a story, okay? So make sure you get the clarity that you need. But for most of you, I feel it's just a, a, a new energy and possibly for some of you even two. Most of you, I feel it's just this one particular person. So I do see the King of Queen of Pentacles. This is a power couple. Two successful people, two people who plan for success, both ready for something new. So you see that? Some of you might like be working in a new building or you might be going to a new place where you think you might find success or meet somebody. So it's possible that's where you're going to meet this person. This could be a place of business where people congregate. Uh, successful people. <laughs> could be kind of a hip and trendy place. Um, interesting. I do feel this person does have a history. Okay, They have a history of being really negative yeah and i it's it's like they it's like they've invested in this energy this negative way of thinking and they haven't had the success so i like i don't know whether they're um, going to classes or reading books or they're just uh, finally seeing things from a different perspective changing how they go about uh, dating you see leaving the negativity behind there's the two of cups focusing on the two of cups the positive energy uh, the connection between the two of you. Oh, yeah. Could be someone coming back around for some of you. It's possible someone wants to heal. They want a reconciliation. They want another opportunity. Uh, it's possible. I can see that. But I do see the Ace of Cups. Okay. So someone offering that cup. It's a fresh new start. Another opportunity. So it could be a little bit of a do-over. Usually I need to see the Nine of Wands little more reconciliation so for most of you i don't think this is a reconciliation some of you definitely but most of you this is new two people ready for something new so oh yeah high vibration happiness emotional fulfillment definitely high energy <laughs> tell me more about the queen of pentacles you could be the king of pentacles you could be the queen of pentacles okay Take it how it resonates for you. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so some of you, yeah, see, you've got some things in common. And I'll tell you what you have in common is you both uh, focus on success. Both of you have played the field, uh, single, haven't had a lot of success meeting anybody new because of the negative. So it's an energy of when you go out, uh, you go to the you go to this place, right? Looking for some attention, some fun, hoping to meet someone, maybe hoping to meet someone successful. Okay, like yourself, because I feel we got two people who were quite successful, at least at being very grounded, at least focused on that money. Very sensible, very practical people. Uh, but it is an energy of being high vibrational. So I do see a little energy of introvert. So I see introverted, extroverted energy here as well. So I feel like you may have that in common. So it's almost like uh, when you get out there, smile more, be more friendly. You see this energy? This is somebody who tells themselves stories in their head. Okay. You see that? The fish in the cup? Yeah. Sometimes it's a person who comes across as not very sincere because they have that. It, it, it's an introvert. It's somebody who has that far away kind of look. Okay, so I do think you've got a person who's starting to see something clear here. I do feel introverted, extroverted energy. I feel like you both share some of that. Uh, but I also see uh, somebody here who is definitely a bit of a free spirit. Possibly both of you have that free spirit energy, very focused on financial uh, stability. I feel like it's a really big deal for both of you. And I do see success here. <laughs> I actually feel it's an energy of two people planning to have success, both people wanting this, uh, being at a high vibration, happiness. So I don't know where you're going to meet them, but I do see you meeting this person. It looks like a place where successful people go possibly okay definitely a happy place it's a it's a safe place possibly a, some somewhere historic a historic building someplace with history now it's possible you have a person who has been wanting to approach you and they may go to the place where you go they've seen you um 
They want to start something, but they're overanalyzing it, right? That's what I feel has likely happened here for most of you. This person's going to let go with that because I do feel it's the thoughts that pin them down, negative. So they're going to release that and come in with that high vibration. Yeah. So it's possible this person's kind of been checking you out or you've been checking them out. Watching how that, you know, you conduct yourselves, how you behave. Uh, you look successful. You take care of yourself. So it's definitely someone who sees you as looking really good. You look successful. Um, wow. <laughs> someone definitely wants to catch someone who's financially stable. But I got to tell you, I think it's both of you. Uh, both being on the same page. You have some similar habits, lifestyles. You could be a couple of homebodies. Like when you get into that introverted energy, you like to spend time at home. But then there's this need to get out and socialize too. Yeah, you definitely have things in common. Common energy, common ground. Join the fruits of your labors. Couple homebodies. I do think you both like to dress nice. You dress for success. Uh, so this is a, you know, it's not just dressing like you're successful, you know. And it doesn't matter if it's everyday clothes, jeans and t-shirts, but they would be clean. Maybe ironed or in good, decent quality, you know. It's people who care about themselves. Uh, it's a sense of pride, pride in your appearance. So, and I feel like you both share that. So this is pretty interesting energy, Taurus. <laughs> you definitely have things in common. But I do see this person holding on to habits, tradition, things that really don't serve them. Okay, and that's where I feel like they know they need to let go of that. I think this person recognizes after a little introspection that they kind of come across as not sincere or, you know, just, you know, negative, you know. And I do think it's because they have a tendency. It's be it, it, be it can become a habit. If you spend too much time alone, uh, spending a lot of time alone, not getting out, um, you know, socializing, you can fall into that trap of negative thinking. And that's likely what I'm seeing here. In fact, you both could be that way. But I, I feel like that's an energy of moving forward here. Oh, yeah, you've got <laughs> this person's definitely wanting to move forward. So I think this is someone who's going to give you a lot of attention. Uh, I do think this person is definitely um, emotionally mature and available. I feel they're definitely a person who's thinking about marriage and commitment, happy home, happy life, being happy with somebody, someone they can, you know, hold on to. Uh, it's definitely a very protective energy. But, that you know, I do see the issue with finances, holding on to everything uh, that they have worked for. And I, I feel like you're both that way. It's about seeing things from each other's perspective, okay? Yeah. Some of you definitely could be letting go of someone. You may meet someone new and find they're too negative or there's just something about them that feels off or their story they tell you, something they may say. Uh, it's possible you could just let them go uh, and then you still have another person possibly. So it's possible you could have a couple people um, coming in. But for most of you, I feel this is both of you wanting something new. Uh, that higher vibrational happiness. I love this so much. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. So there we have, you know, so I do see a lot of strength. Okay, so I see success. Yeah, so we got someone with a little bit of an ego. So it's a person being ruled by their ego in their head. Uh, I do see a gift. Yeah, and I, didn't I say that before? I thought actually this could be, you could, there could be some kind of an event. A black tie affair, something formal that you get invited to. If you do go to a place like that, this, this person actually could wear a bow tie or a tie. Uh, I do see someone with an ego, though. I do th see things being kind of up in the air, uh, most definitely. See where this goes. Tell me about this page of cups. Yeah, so it's an energy of transformation. So this is someone going through change. See, they're looking at things differently. They're looking at themselves. Shadow work, facing their fears, looking at themselves. So the energy of someone showing them true self, expressing themselves, putting themselves out there. See, that's what I feel this person uh, hasn't done. It Like I say, it could be yourself too. I feel like you've got some things in common here. But I do feel that you could be quite compatible with this person. I feel like you kind of, um, you know, it's like you dress the same. I do see a sense of pride in the way someone dresses, having a sense of pride. Uh, I do think this person would feel very proud. 
uh, having you on their arm or vice versa. Okay, I, I feel this really, it, it's an energy of being, pr uh, going out in public, feeling uh, pride to be with somebody, okay, to be seen out in public. I'm not seeing like arm candy or anything like that. I, I'm just seeing a person who knows what they want. They're definitely in an energy. I feel with a masculine energy, they're not going to settle. Uh, but I do think this person's about to take a risk to offer you something. I think you're going to get an invitation. Okay. They definitely are going to dress with pride and care. <laughs> okay. Because they want to impress you. So I actually feel it could be just a dinner date. This person's likely going to spend a lot of money trying to impress you. Okay. But I don't think you're so much impressed by... Um, I do think there's being, you know, being impressed by their money, their stability, things like that. But I do sense um, you're really impressed about the way they dress. Uh, it's a sense of pride. I feel some reason. I did see this in a reading last week. I can't remember which one. Maybe it's yourself, Taurus. Um, uh, really could be just a message coming out. Uh, and, it, and I feel like it's important, you know, people who take pride in the way they dress, the way they present themselves. So I, I feel like someone's going to present themselves very well, very emotionally mature and available. But I do see a little caution about taking a risk. They are a little cautious. I don't think they're going to dress risky. If you're thinking of dressing risky, don't. <laughs> I think this person, someone who, it, it's, it's natural, like a, a very natural, earthy way, but definitely um, looking, it looks successful, okay? It looks like somebody's got so, a little bit of money here or just have that beautiful sense of pride. Oh, yeah, really nice energy. So there we have that energy of transformation. So this is energy of someone who may change their look, change their appearance, okay? Possibly. I do see this leap. Look at that. Leap of faith, taking a leap forward. This person's going to take a risk. They're going to offer you something. Oh, yeah. You might meet this person. Like, you both, both may get invited to something. Like, you could connect at this place of business. It could be a business party. I do see the black bow. Uh, a tie, a gift, okay? It, it, to me, I always see something formal, okay? Yeah. I don't think you need to dress. Like, I, I, some of you, this isn't necessarily formal because I'm seeing this natural, earthy kind of energy with both of you. Um, it's like you could, I don't know. It's like, I don't know whether it's like they look at you, you could wear anything and you just look good, <laughs> And I feel it's a person, you always look like you're going somewhere. So like I say, um, you know, it, it's going to be a, a little different story for everyone. But I do think this person has a sense of pride in their appearance. And I do think they like somebody who uh, dresses successfully and has a sense of pride. I think both of you have that energy. Yeah, you have some things in common, there's no doubt. Look at doing things by the book. I see the star. So this is about value and worth. No, this is somebody's hopes and dreams uh, to start something new, but it's doing things by the book. So it's sort of like playing by the rules, okay? So there is definitely something about society's rules. Uh, I do think this person is definitely uh, somebody who's like that, like yourself. Or we have a couple of free spirits, free thinkers. It could go either way here, okay? Because I do see someone holding on to old belief systems, traditions, and habits, okay, that they need to let go of. So it could be this person, it could be you. But like I say, it could go either way. Yeah, so there's the energy of the leaf. So that's an energy of clearing things out, clearing things up. It's change, transformation. Uh, I do see the leaves falling, so um, beautiful. I do see an L. Uh, I see a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. So this is a cycle, a pattern, a habit, conditioning, the way someone conducts themselves. It's keeping them stuck. Uh, keeping them single. Yeah. This person's about ready to let go. It's an energy of shedding, all right? Just shedding all that. It's a, it's no longer needed. Wow. There's the two hearts, yeah. So look at that, two hearts uh, connecting. Some of you, it could be a reconciliation, healing the heart. Both of you holding on to something from past relationships. It's very possible. But I love the positive energy regardless. So forget about the negative because this is, it could be a whole new person or somebody coming in with a whole new energy. This is so positive. Yeah, there's a bow. 
So I do see a little blue bow, a gift. So yeah, this is about releasing things that hold you back, being open, arms open. You see that? Arms open, the gifts that you're about to receive. Very nice. I see an H. So I do see possible health, happiness. What's it trying to tell me here? It could be just initials or a place where you meet this person. There's the unicorn taking an opportunity that's being presented. It's an open door. It's about being open to change. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think you have somebody who actually has quite an open mind here. I feel that they've had they've gotten into some habit of thinking very negative and it has to do with things that are hidden fears and I do feel it's shadow work you know looking at themselves facing their fears <laughs> could be someone who's got to face the fear that you actually could be in a relationship so it's possible they watch from a distance just to look to see uh, they may it's possible to this person if you are if some of you are reading this and you are in some kind of a relationship this person uh, is definitely a person who's in protective mode and holding back they will release and let go if need be so it's an end i i feel some of you it's definitely uh, just a really really big decision for someone uh, to take this opportunity so i do see a k and I see the wisdom. So there's definitely somebody very wise, very smart, uh, keeping their eyes. Their eyes are wide open, you see. They're seeing things very clearly. This person knows what they need to do. So nice energy. There's a T. Uh, I see there. There it is. There's that. Uh, the grapes, just like on the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, enjoying the fruits of your labors. There's abundance. So this is being open to the gifts, the abundance you're about to receive. This person's going to go for it. They see you as a gift, as an opportunity, and they're going to go for it. There it is, putting their best foot forward, uh, taking that leap of faith. It's about stepping into this new, okay? Best foot forward, dressing well, looking really good. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want, this person really wants to impress you. I actually see whining and dining. Okay, I do think there's little periods where this person gets a little wishy-washy and starts thinking negative, but I do think they're going to pull themselves together here. I wouldn't worry too much about that. It's more about this, uh, the process, the transition of releasing this. Could be just baggage from a past relation that didn't go well, you know. So I do see an energy of taking off the rose-colored glasses, seeing things clearly. This person could be quite well-known. Uh, they may wear glasses, but it's really about seeing things clearly. I do see an energy of love. Okay, so there's definitely some love here. Um, I was looking at this when I was talking, so it goes here, but there wasn't room, so I just threw it over there. But this person has a big heart. Okay, they definitely have a great big heart. So wow, Taurus, two hearts coming together, two people releasing healing letting go of something the things that no longer serve is what i feel the the things that weigh you down it's about being open to the gifts you're about to receive you see seeing things in a positive light feeling happy okay so i do see a lot of happiness possibly even smiles here um, beautiful energy taurus i wish you the best sorry this is such a long reading but i'm digging digging trying to get uh, you know the uh, the energy right for this person because i do feel they are kind of complicated i do this is definitely somebody who has a lot going on in their head but i do feel they have they are somebody i feel has been kind of stuck in habits and traditions and i feel it's more about having an open mind about leaving their past traditions and that energy of being conditioned in a certain way behind so it's a person who's thinking about marriage and commitment building a foundation thinking more positive about marriage seeing it differently after they've healed and released and you know it's an energy of looking at it different after you've healed after you've let go of the negativity take care of taurus okay this person's coming your way so make sure you're looking good okay i see you preparing yourself <laughs> uh, you i feel like you're going to connect somewhere Someplace out in the public, definitely at a place where there's successful people, if that means anything to you. So take care and we'll see you soon.